pentagon. Let us try the same method with a pentagon. Remember, a pentagon is a five-sided figure. Again, we use deductive reasoning, and we do this by using facts that we already know or that we have already proved true. What do we do here? Again, we deal with angle sums, so we need to divide this pentagon into triangles. Why triangles? Because we have already proved that the sum of all three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. In order to divide the pentagon into triangles, we need to draw the diagonals. Diagonals BD and AD, for example. Of course, you can draw any two diagonals as long as they do not cut each other. Otherwise, as illustrated in figure 2, you end up with a strangely cut pentagon, which is useless because it gives us three triangles and a quadrilateral. And some of the angles of the triangles, where they cross, are not part of the original pentagon's angles, making this construction no use for our purpose in this instance. So we draw diagonals BD and AD. Now we use the reasoning we used for the quadrilateral and find that the sum of the angles of a pentagon is 3 times 180 degrees, which is 540 degrees. Why 3 times 180 degrees? Because we have three triangles in this pentagon. The next figure is a hexagon, which as you should know has six sides. Once more we draw the diagonals which divide the hexagon into four triangles. Again, make sure the diagonals don't cut each other. Therefore, the angle sum of the hexagon is 4 times 180 degrees, which is 720 degrees. Before concluding this section, try exercise 11a and see if you notice anything particular.